self-doubting out the window, you can get out the door. In is more self-care. More self-care for the ladies at the back. I'm tired of my own cooking. Discernment. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and if this is your first time tuning in, then welcome. My name is Desiree. I am a mother of two, a one-year-old and a two-year-old. I am married to my amazing and annoying husband. Um, now for 10 years, I am a stay-at-home mum and full-time content creator. Oh my gosh, is that a spider? No, it's not a spider. <laughs> Sorry, I hate spiders. And I um, share all things affordable fashion, lifestyle, family things, beauty, a little bit of everything. But anyway, I am back with another video today. And in today's video, I will be sharing the things that I am leaving in 2023 and the things that I'll be doing more of in 2024. Anyway, this has been going viral on TikTok. It's the ins and the outs, what we are taking into the new year and what we are taking out. My list is quite long, which is why I wanted to do a YouTube video because I feel like I need to talk about it a little bit as well, not just list them. Do you know what I mean? So if you're interested to see what I'm leaving behind and what I'm taking into the new year, then stay tuned. If you've come this far, you've listened to my long introduction and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Okay, let's start with the ins. As I said, guys, I got a long list. I got a long list. So number one, guys, is I am going to be outside. I am going to be outside in 2024 because why not? why not i am in this new mentality i'm just in this new space where i'm just like let's celebrate life let's enjoy life let's have fun let's enjoy time with my family my friends let's enjoy some time by myself we are going to go outside of course guys i'm not going to be outside every night and you know what the last quarter was very busy for me so i was out a lot and i realized this is not my life so not out every day but overall in general i'm going to be outside i'm going to have time at home because i do like to stay at home and I can be a homebody, but I'm also going to be outside. So you guys will see me eating out to eat. You will see me out with my friends. You'll see me out with my husband. You will see me out with my kids. I'm going to be outside in 2024. Number two, I am going to be doing the most. And when I say doing the most, I am going to be doing the most to expect the most. I think um, the energy and the vibes that I'm going into 2022, 2020, how, how can I say 2022? The vibe that I'm going into 2024 with is giving my all and absolute best and doing the most in everything that I do. Whether that is me looking after my skin, my diet, what I'm eating, whether that is me looking after the kids or for my husband or for my work, I'm going to be doing the most because we are not about to go into a new year just expecting the ordinary, just, you know, mediocre, just anything and anyhow. And for you to have those high expectations, you need to be given the best in everything you're doing. And that's what I mean doing the most. Doing the most in everything that I do. Doing the most when I'm on my socials, doing the most when I'm not on my socials, doing the most at home. If it is just me being extra and having my slow mornings and, you know, my little routines that I do at home when I'm by myself. Whether it is just me wearing nice loungewear at home, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing the most this new year because that is just the energy that I want all year round do you know what I mean number three is kind of like a three in one these three things I am going to be taking care of the best that I can I kind of started in 2023 and I've been seeing like the good fruits of it but I'm going to be continuing this in 2024 as I'm getting older guys I'm 32 okay there are three things that I want to focus more on as I get older and that is my hair that is my skin and that is my health these three things have become my priority in 2023 and they are staying in 2024. When I talk about the hair, that one I'm going to I'm going to hold off a little bit because there's something that I'm actually going to be doing this year, this month or next month. Um I have I just need to confirm the dates and something to do with my hair, investing in my hair and working on my hair. I want to have good hair and um I am going to be wearing less wigs this year to kind of like, I want to have a good hairline guys. I want to have a good hairline. I want to have my hair out more. I want to wear more sew-ins and yeah, I need to have, I want to have good hair as I get older. The second is my skin. You guys know I don't miss a skincare routine unless, unless I'm getting home at midnight and I've got to put the kids to bed. Yeah, unless it's one of those situations, I don't play with my skin. My skin in 2023 has glowed up and I wanna keep it that way in 2024. I wanna have good skin and I wanna wear less makeup in 2024 as I have been wearing this year. I need good skin. 
every sis wants good skin and that takes work the last one is my health guys my health and my lifestyle has changed those who know me know know that i could not last without having sweets every day every single day i had to have something sweet i was literally addicted to sweets so i basically practically cut out sugars i've cut out car lots of carbs i still eat carbs it's not a problem but i don't eat it a lot carbs sugar drinks sweets fizzy drinks junk food i will have these things here and there but it's not something that i would have often like before and exercising in this year we are working out three days a week that's what we're gonna do number four is slow mornings so this is something that i started towards the end of 2023 guys it's changed my life I need to have slow mornings every morning. Some mornings, because of the kids, they decide to randomly have those mornings when they decide to wake up at six o'clock. There's no time for small mornings. But usually my boys wake up between like 7.45, 8, around that time. Earliest is 7.30 and the latest is usually 8.30. So I can have my slow mornings. Slow mornings to me is waking up before everyone, having a shower, doing my skincare routine, going downstairs, having a hot drink and sitting down and having, you see what you can hear? silence time by myself that is a win whenever i start my day like that honestly some will say they the thought of getting up before the kids is really hard they can't imagine it is something that they don't look forward to but for me because it's not too early because my kids don't wake up very early it doesn't feel that bad for me to wake up at six o'clock or 6 30 or even seven o'clock to have that time before so it's not that bad but i would not be waking up at five o'clock or four o'clock anything before 6 30 you will not see unless i have to get up for work or something like that i like my sleep i go to bed early and i wake up at a good time so yeah my slow mornings have been the best thing and literally getting ready for the day as well actually having a shower get ready for the day having quiet time so when the boys are up i'm like I'm ready for whatever day you're going to give me guys whether you're going to be crying all day whether you're going to be moaning all day whether you're going to be in the best mood I'm ready for you the next one is I am going to be that boss babe I'm going to be getting my bag in 2024 2023 we did good 2024 we are about to go to the next level and that means me putting more work and effort in there are a couple of goals that I have um of course there's some things you need to just and not talk about business that i want to work on with my husband that we i've been wanting to do for a while it's been more me but i want james to join this venture with me um and it's a big goal it's a big goal i'm not gonna lie it's a big there's two goals that we both have together business wise um two very big goals is it achievable yes it's achievable but it's going to take a lot of work so this year i am ready to put the work in so up to now i've kind of been focusing on my content creating but this year i will be focusing on my content creating as well as the two business um ideas and ventures that we want to do together and that means hard work late nights planning jotting down ideas working around the kids i do still have that mentality of i don't want to just be grinding and grinding and working hard all 2024 no babe it's about the balance i will be doing both you will see me enjoying my 2024 but you will also see me working hard in my 2024 we got to do a little bit of both do you know what i mean the next one is treating myself and you know what i feel like um sometimes i did it last year but this year i want to treat myself for every milestone whether it is a small one whether it isn't whether it is buying myself something whether it is a uh, little treat you know anything i'm just going to be treating myself because why not why not the next is vintage and depop they will know my name this year i feel like a few years ago i used to always be on vintage i used to always be on depop selling my stuff things that would just sit in my wardrobe that i wouldn't wear or things that i knew i was only going to wear once i would get rid of them but i didn't really do that in 2023 even as i'm going through my wardrobe and stuff now there are things that i can let go and i might as well make some money doing it I need to get through this guys because there is a lot beauty maintenance of course is coming into 2024 do i even need to explain it no beauty maintenance is important investing so i am at the point in life where i want to start investing because my husband is more deals with all that kind of side and knows more about that kind of stuff but um 2024 i want to start investing myself learning more about it so basically learning about it and also investing my brother is quite good and, and he understands quite a bit so i started by speaking to him about some stuff yeah i definitely want to start investing and trying to find out what the best things is to invest in and yeah 
start getting my investing bag that's what i want to do in 2024 in is learning new recipes guys guys i am tired i'm tired of my own cooking i'm tired of cooking the same things i think the boys are sometimes even i think james is even tired although he hasn't said it yet i'm tired of my own cooking i want to learn new recipes i want to learn new meals um, for my family i cook quite a lot we hardly order take out i'm always cooking but i want to learn some new foods now i want to learn some new recipes and yeah if you guys know any food pay or anything tag them below because yeah i really want to get in my cooking bag this year reading the whole bible is one of my ends that i want to do this year i've started and stopped trying to read the bible so many times literally starting and stopping starting and stopping but i want to do it this year i want to do it this year i have found a plan on my phone and i'm going to stick with it every day i want to read the bible every day even if it is a verse if it is a chapter if it is a verse if it is a couple of verses i want to read the bible every day those are two most important things that i really want to do i really want to read the whole bible we didn't really learn about like the importance of like knowing the word and like reciting the words and knowing the words that, that i could recite them and tell myself and speak the word because i was always that christian guys am i the only one i'm always that christian like you know in the bible where it says something like do you know what i mean where you kind of like you know in the bible where it says oh something like this or something like that or you know it kind of talks about this i want to be able to go listen in matthew 2 verse 44 it says thou sh do you know what i mean that's what i want to be i want to be that i want to be that christian yes proud i want to be that christian and i also want to start teaching the boys the the verses the word of god and i can only do that if i know it we are coming towards the end guys almost there giving back to people who need this has been on my heart for so long and we tried to do something me and my friends towards the end of 2020 three but it was so short notice and it was during the christ like days before christmas um that we came up with an idea to do something but because of everyone's schedules it we just couldn't do it we want to do that for christmas but i also want to start doing that throughout the year i want to give back i don't know about you guys but another one that is in for 2024 is wearing natural makeup 2023 i actually went most of the year without wearing lashes which is something that i would never really do especially if i'm going out i would always wear lashes but i have just recently just loved this whole look of just having my natural lashes and wearing less makeup unless i'm going out out so just wearing more natural looking makeup uh holidays are in in 2024 i think i went on four holidays in 2023 yes four holidays in 2023 so i want to go on at least four holidays in 2024 because of what i'm doing with my hair i might not be able to go anywhere in the first quarter or even like up to spring i would say so it will probably definitely be from summer towards the end of the year times we'll see um but did i give it away hmm, did i give away what i'm doing i don't know definitely a holiday with just me and james and family holidays too and i said it already and i'm gonna say it on here next christmas and new year's we are going to be abroad I said it, it's happening. In 2024, we are having more date night. Oh my gosh, guys. Before this year, I feel like me and James used to make it a thing. We had so many date nights. We regularly went on date nights. But I feel like since moving, since moving a little bit further away from James's mum, although now she's like 35 minutes drive, it's not like before, which was like five minutes drive um, or even less, um, we go on less dates which is a bit annoying and just because we have the kids like we're at the at home most of the time with the kids i find that we haven't had as many date nights in 2023 so 2024 we are going to have date nights and i heard someone say um that what they do is one person plans the date night this month and next month other person plans it so i think we're going to do that as well it's going to kind of be like a surprise every month we do that so this year every month we are doing date nights um and we literally need to be intentional with it because I find that if we're not, time will go by and we realise we haven't had a date night. And that's literally what kept happening in 2023. I was like, James, we haven't had a date night. Oh, he's like, we haven't had a date night. That's not going to happen in 2024. We are going to have our date nights. We are going to plan childcare. We are going to have date nights. Another in is I am going to unapologetically be me. And I say that because I'm like, content creator and on social media sometimes you can feel the pressure to be a certain way put out certain content come across a certain way to fit in and 
I don't know. And I'm not going to lie, even in 2023, I've, I've had conversations about it with James. And sometimes I feel like with my counterparts, they would do certain things or shoot certain content or be a certain way online. And they, their following engagement would go up so quick and I'd be like, do I have to be like them? Do I have to do... And, and literally he's like, no, does he? be you like and I've had to just say I'm gonna unapolog unapologetically be me wherever I am whether I'm out at events meeting new people meeting you know important people whether I am with people that I already know um I am going to be me unapologetically I'm not gonna try and be anyone I'm not gonna feel inferior I'm gonna be confident in who I am and what I have to give because at the end of the day there is no one like me and I think I kind of had to tell myself that because you do have those moments when you do kind of think do I have to do this do I have to be like this or should I kind of do you know what I mean you do those thoughts do come to mind but I kind of had to bring myself back and kind of say no Desiree you don't have to do those things just be you and that is what I'm going to be doing this year uh quality time with my husband and my loved ones so I didn't mention that I mentioned date night but quality time with my husband and also my loved ones I have friends that I want to keep in my life forever and as I get older I want to keep those um long-term friendships and build on them and that also involves spending quality time with them and yes that takes time but I'm definitely going to be more intentional about that this year discernment Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. discernment why was that not on the top of my list please because this no this is not in any particular order by the way but discernment should have been on the top 2023 wow there was a lot of people that came in my life and because i'm a very social person i'm extrovert i love to meet new people i love to start conversations i love to if people want to meet up with me i'm like yes babe like let's meet up i am that person but i've had to have discernment um because i feel like some people came into my life with different intentions i'm glad because i feel like god gave me that discernment to realize to tell who is who and be able to kind of discern what people I want to keep my life or what around me or people that I need to be aware of or people that I need to cut off do you know what I mean you know what I mean discernment is key pray about the people that come into your life and also some people just come into your life for a season some people don't come into your life to stay there forever and to have to be your long-term friend sometimes people just come into your life for a season in is more self-care more self-care for the ladies at the back more self-care and it's so easy to not find that time especially when you have children um it's so easy to not find that time because you find that you're spending a lot more time with the kids thinking about the kids thinking about the family thinking about the home thinking about this you need to cook this you need to do this you're like you're you're so busy doing things all the time for others sometimes it's so easy to forget about yourself we are not doing that in 2024 guys we need to have self-care we need to have time to ourselves and literally i feel like it was twice last year i literally went to the hotel by myself and stayed there two nights to just relax and I also did that before having Reuben like near my due date best thing I've done best thing I did not go to the spa go and have a massage go and have a swim order food take away sit down and watch tv and it's not in your bed that you have to make or you don't have to clean because it's in a hotel guys we are doing more of that this year like self-care is so important and like I said it could be in anything self-care for me is like literally even in the small things like I said those slow mornings having that time just for me before the kids wake up or having time when I'm like James can you take over and you do the evening routine or you do bedtime or you do dinner time so I can just go in the bar self-care is important and also investing in yourself like investing in yourself is also a form of self-care doing hobbies that you like like one of them another in which i will mention after is netball i did play netball in 2023 and that's something that i'm going to be doing more of in 2023 um doing things learning new things like even this year i last year i started look, uh, learning how to apply my makeup better all of those things are things that will make my life easier that make me feel better i am all about this year taking risks taking risks in 2024 i don't mean that you have to take a risk like 10 risks this year it could even just be one risk that i have to take but i want to have that mentality that sometimes to achieve something you have to take that risk and it kind of brings me back to when i made that decision to leave work leave my full-time work and do content creating full-time it was a risk it was a risk that i was willing to take but i was also willing to back that up with hard work and see it all the way through and 
I just think if I have that mentality for 2024, is there more that I can achieve, more that I can on the other side of risk? And I really feel that there is so much that on the other side of risks, of taking the risk that you can't see prior. Because when you look at it, when you look at that wall, or you look at that the edge that you want to take a step, a leap of faith, looking at it can be quite scary and that fear can take over. But this year we're taking risks. It could be small risk, it could be big risk. I don't even know yet. I don't even know yet, but I am willing to have that mentality already going into 2024, that if I have to take a risk, I'm gonna take that risk. The last one is hosting. Since moving here, and you know, it's so funny because before we moved here, when we bought a house, I was like, I'm gonna be hosting all the time, etc., etc. But guys, I've only hosted a handful of times since moving here, and it's been a year now, which is terrible. It hasn't been on purpose, it's just been, because I'm just so busy, I'm always doing something, I'm always working, I'm always with the kids, the house is always messy, you know, I'm always out, or there's never any time for me to actually host in my house. So 2024, I want to host more with my family, more with my friends and my loved ones, and having more fellowship. And I think that's what I love about my new church is that they are really strong on fellowshipping. And since then, it's something that I want to do more of. Right now, quickly, let's go through the outs because we don't really need to talk much about the outs because we're getting rid of them, we're leaving them behind but let's go through these again this is in no particular order self-doubting out the window you can get out the door self-doubting I'm not doubting myself anymore I'm gonna do something if I want to do something I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna doubt myself I'm just gonna throw myself in and be hopeful and positive and optimistic hustle culture this hustle culture is also kicked out the window there has to be a bit of a balance and I find that 2023 all I was hearing was like we've got to work hard we've got to hustle we've got to grind we've got to, you know got to save we've got to build and I'm like but what happened to actually like reaping or like enjoying what you've worked for do you know what I mean like I don't want to live every day just working hard like working hard I want to live life I want to enjoy life now with my family with my kids my husband I want to enjoy life now. I don't know like how long I'm going to be on this earth for. I don't. They're at this age. They're going to be 10, 20 soon. That's how you know how time is. Like, I'm already 32. Like how did that even happen? So I want to make sure that I am building memories every single year of my family. And I think if I'm so focused on grinding, on building, on working and saving, I'm not going to be able to cherish those moments. So yeah. I'm done with like the grinding, the forever grinding, the forever working hard and the building and the saving and stacking. Let's do both. Let's do both. Procrastination. Procrastination needs to stay in 2023. Like, why is it so easy to procrastinate? Oh my gosh. Do you know how much we can get done and so much we can how much we can achieve if we don't procrastinate? And it's easier said than done, but I really am gonna be that person in my own head that tells myself to get up and do it, Desmin. You said you would do it by this date, you said you were gonna do it by this. I need to check on myself and I also need to and I also think making my husband an accountable person for me would also be good because he can also hold me accountable to what I said. So that's also what I'm doing in 2024. You know these accounts, Shade Borough, Shade Room, all these gossip pages on Instagram, I'm unfollowing them. I'm not following them in 2024. I just found that in 2023, they were so negative, negative Nancy. Everything, every day, bad news, bad news, bad news, this divorce, this divorce, this breakup, this breakup, this death, this death, this, this, that, this gossiping this this person thinking this i'm tired i'm actually tired i actually don't want to see it on my timeline anymore i have unfollowed them another thing i'm leaving behind is overthinking sometimes when i get to that point of overthinking i think my way out of something which is really bad we're not overthinking in in 2024 unsubscribing i was literally unsubscribing from certain platforms that i'm paying monthly for because there's some things i was literally thinking i hardly use like I pay for Disney, we pay for Netflix, we pay for, I can't remember. There's so many things that I've had to go through and I think, I, don't, I hardly watch anything on this platform or I hardly use this. Literally, I'm going through my monthly subscriptions, even the ones on my phones and the apps that I signed up to one day because I was using and I'm not even using anymore and I'm still taking money out of my account. Like, we are unsubscribing, we are deleting anything that we are not using anymore because that amounts up to a lot of money by the end of the year. Fast fashion. I feel like I already left that behind um, a while ago, but just falling for the, oh, this is, it's only this amount, it's only this amount, this is a nice top, it's only this amount, I'm just gonna buy it. I don't want to keep buying stuff anymore. And like I said, 
in the last video i've stopped really spending like i used to and more intentional with what i buy and really think about the things that i buy so i don't just want to buy things because they're trendy or because someone a lot of people are wearing it and i like it and i want to wear it for a short period of time then i realize i've only worn a couple of times and i don't actually need it in my wardrobe so we are saying no to fast fashion this year the last one there's not actually that many there's probably more if i could think about it but these are the ones that came to mind straight away um is being too busy that's the last one that i want to leave um with because i tend to say a lot that i'm too busy that i'm always busy i'm busy i'm busy that is just a term i use all the time and then i think about it there are enough hours in the day for me not to be too busy there are enough days in the week for me not to be busy i just need to be more productive with my time have more of a routine and a schedule to follow i do have a schedule with the boys but i feel like with my own time i want to make time for all the little things i need to make time for in the week so i don't feel like i'm busy so i don't feel like i'm always doing something i just found myself saying that a lot like i'm too busy to do things and i really really don't want to be saying that this year and yeah that's it really those are the things that i'm leaving behind in 2023 and the new things that i'm holding on to i would love to hear some of the things that you guys are taking into 2024 and you are leaving in 2023 leave them in the comments i would love to hear are there some similar to mine or ones i didn't even think of i'm sure there are so many more ins and so many more outs that i can think of but those are the things that came to mind and that i've written down and i know after this video i'm going to think of one would be like why didn't i say that i know myself 100 but yeah i'm looking forward to this new year and like i said i am working on a few other things i just want to work on spending more time with my family my immediate family and my extended family making more memories with my my immediate family doing better achieving more on instagram i would love to get to 100k i want to grow here on youtube but by the end of next year i would love to get to 200k that is like my goal for instagram and youtube i would love to get to 20k followers on youtube i'm just putting it out there guys I'm just putting it out there 20,000 subscribers on youtube 200k by next year on instagram that's my work goal quality time with my family more holidays remain healthy remain fit work on my hair work on my skin um work and build two businesses with my husband invest do a couple of things around the house definitely renovate our bathroom that is one thing that i definitely want to do this year there are some other stuff that you know i'll just keep between me and my hubby those are some of the things that i want to achieve in 2024 um and i'm really hopeful i'm ready to work hard i'm ready to do my best i'm ready to get there but giving myself grace because i'm a mum of two young children so all i can do is my best i don't want to overstretch myself i don't want to overwork myself i don't want to do it thank you guys for watching i look forward to seeing your goals and stuff that you want to achieve in 2024 in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next one bye